Cleaner Media's Mining Weekly is interviewing Dr. Philip Walter, the Executive Vice President, Business Line Hydrogen Systems, Global Business Unit, Arrayus Precious Metals. The focus of this interview is on platinum group metals and the hydrogen economy and the points that Dr. Philip Walter made on PGMs and hydrogen in his recent presentation during the New York Platinum Week. Hi, Philip. It's great to chat to you once again. What opportunities are there for platinum group metals in the hydrogen economy and beyond? So what opportunities are there? As always said, platinum group metals and hydrogen belong together. Platinum group metals have a peculiar position in the periodic system of the elements. And uh, the main applications are electrocatalysts, on the one hand for electrolyzers, on the other hand for fuel cells. Chemical catalysts can play a role. They're not a must, but can play a role for hydrogen transportation and storage. And last but not least, also gas purification. Hydrogen purification is another important application of platinum group metals. And when it comes to clean fuel, energy storage, decarbonization, and greening of crucial raw materials, why is green hydrogen such a key solution? Mm -hmm. Hydrogen is an energy vector in this respect. So it, it has the ability, when being formed by means of electrolysis, to store energy. And this stored energy then can either be released through fuel cells, through chemicals, or through simply the use as fuels. So it can be burned, and then you have only water as a byproduct uh, as a result, and not any other carbon-containing compounds. Platinum group metals are building a toolbox for hydrogen applications. Tell us about that. Right. So in my opinion, you know, the platinum group metals are a toolbox because they, they are synergistic effects. They have a different cost profile. And basically, depending on a certain target application, what you can do is you mix platinum group metals to achieve a certain target property profile, including a certain cost profile, which has been done also in many instances in the past for emission catalysts. And can you just elaborate on the relationship between water electrolysis and platinum group metals? Absolutely. So water electrolysis, there are different technologies, and a lot of these technologies apply platinum group metals. The major use, however, is foreseen for the proton exchange membrane electrolysis. And there, platinum is used on the cathode for what's called the hydrogen evolution reaction, whereas iridium or iridium and ruthenium are used on the anode for the oxygen evolution reaction. And again, electro electrolysis, and I should have mentioned that earlier, is nothing else but the cleavage of water into hydrogen and oxygen. And let's talk development and also competitiveness. What is the latest when it comes to hydrogen electrolyzer development and the competitiveness of hydrogen electrolysis? Hydrogen is um, water electrolysis and PEM electrolysis. That's where the platinum group metals are predominantly used, is developing. And one of the clear targets is to reduce the cost. And I think of course, platinum group metals bear a certain cost in an electrolyzer, but by means of thrifting and uh, newest developments, these costs can be reduced simply since the load of platinum group metals is reduced without sacrificing the performance of the respective electrocatalysts for the hydrogen evolution and the oxygen evolution reaction. And is the world accepting this? What is the outlook for the use of PGMs in the hydrogen economy and beyond? I think the world is more and more accepting the fact that platinum group metals are essential parts of the proton exchange membrane technology for water electrolysis as well as fuel cells. There are often attempts to reduce or actually to replace even uh, platinum group metals. But so far, the uh, peculiar stability, electrochemical stability of platinum, uh, together with their activity, uh, makes it very hard, actually, to replace platinum group metals. So the industry is, I think, accepting the fact that platinum group metals are an essential part 
of PEM technology. And what conclusions should be drawn from the main points made in this discussion and at New York? What is the takeaway? The takeaway is that platinum group metals play an important role in the hydrogen economy and beyond. And beyond in this respect means there are new feedstocks in view of decarbonization on the horizon, such as carbon dioxide, biomass, as well as maybe uh, polymer waste. And in order to treat these, platinum group metal-based catalysis can play as an essential role. That was Klima Media's Mining Weekly, speaking to Dr. Philip Walter, the Executive Vice President, Business Line Hydrogen Systems, Global Business Unit, Heraeus Precious Metals.